It's a special day, Ryan. Why Why is this so special, Bradley? It's, uh, it's Quick Look EX Day. I love these days. I know. Who's, who's here? What are They're we the looking best. at? We've got Robin Lacey from Beating at Games. How are you doing, sir? Very well, thanks. Cool, cool. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, we're looking at it right now. Plain Sight is, is in Plain Sight. So. <laughs> so oh, Brad. So, uh, yeah, terrible. Thanks for, for watching our <laughs> Plain Sight Quick Look. Robin, thank you so much for your <laughs> time. How often do you get that on a given tour? Was that? Is that? How often do you get the the bad uh, jokes? Oh, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Hopefully Very that was good. the first and the last. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so oh, God, I wish Brad. So oh, anyway. <laughs> All right, so me and Ryan are, are both uh, we're both going in cold on this game, so right, we're just cool. gonna kind of let you take it away and uh, tell us what this is all about. Sure. All right. Well, this is our first game. We've been working on it for about eighteen months. Um, we all we're a pretty young studio, so we kind of all just got together one day and decided to make video games. Um, just like that? Pretty much, yeah. Nice. We just quit our jobs and we were just like, all right, let's go for it. How hard can it be? <laughs> it's pretty hard, actually. Um, <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who would have thought? Anyway, so we wanted to make, um, wanted to play, make a multiplayer game. We were all playing first-person shooters at the time, so we just thought, hey, wouldn't it be great to have a sort of competitive third-person multiplayer game? We were playing Super Mario Galaxy and Every Extend Extra uh, quite a lot at the time, so we really wanted to make a game that rewarded death rather than punish you for it. And we also wanted a game that, uh, you know, you can just jump around and fly around and have a really good time when doing it. So, um, point of playing sight. Oh, you look those like are, those are pretty disparate uh, points of inspiration, I have to say. I know. Yeah, well, you just got to draw from what you can get, really, can't you? Absolutely. <laughs> um, the point of the game is um, the basic death match works in the fact that you steal energy from your opponents. Um, the more energy you get, the bigger, better, and brighter you are, so you become more conspicuous but also better at the game. Um, but you can only convert your energy to uh, hard-earned points um, if you uh, blow yourself up. So, and it's only the points that count towards the end of the game, really. So it's kind of like the uh, weakest link with suicide bombing, really. It all mixed into one. Um, but yeah, it makes a lot more sense. His expression on his face, he's like, what the hell? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about the... Uh Potentially politically uncouth uh, ends we could go to with suicide bombers, but we won't. So. Well, you know, um, it's a good thing that you have, uh, you know, cute little robots let's, here. Let's keep, yeah. it, let's keep it clean when the guests are here, please. Oh, I know it's so hard. <laughs> right. yeah, let's jump in. So it's an arena death match. Yeah, this is. Um, there's 13 maps in the game. Okay. Um, it's got five gameplay modes, and it's. Uh, actually, let's just drop into this, and it's coming out on Monday for nine dollars ninety-nine. Um, just, okay, so oh the God, game. Gravity. Hmm? I said, oh God, gravity. <laughs> yep, it is very much one of those sort of things. So it's basically, the game plays um, more like a flight sim than anything else, really. You've, there's a lot of twitch reaction, a lot about getting to places, but it's about finding your opponents, chasing them down, locking on, and killing them, and taking their points. So let me just say that. So you charge up. When it goes red, you can let go. Oh, he actually will tell me. Um, there we go. Oh, these little arcs are nuts. Yep. It is. It's quite a flashy game, um, but they change. Um, you can see they change color to how many points they've got, and so that's how you can see where, how, how, you know, who, who you should really be taking out. Okay. So you basically go through the color spectrum. I'm going to play the game really badly now. <laughs> uh, no, talking and playing a game at the same time is, is uh, an acquired skill for sure. So don't don't worry about that too much. Let me tell you, <laughs> Brad knows all too well. Well, we all know all too well. So the color of your little arcs has changed. That means yeah, that you that are a, got more points. a higher priority target. Okay. Your sword is on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's a power up. And I just died. So I lost seven energy, and this guy will probably just blow himself up, so I'll never get it. There you go, he blew himself up. So with, when, you, when you decide to blow yourself up, then... You drop back down again, and you start with one point. But the... Uh, you're you're essentially trying to blow up people near you, or is it just yep, by more, by blowing up you cash in the points you've uh, yeah you accrued. cash the points in, okay. but you also if you catch people in the blast you get multipliers in nice. the same way that you if you kill people quickly you get lots of multipliers and stuff like that. All right, so it's just a risk reward for how long you choose to stay alive and uh, how powerful you want to be before someone takes you down. Absolutely, yeah. So you can get lots of like at the moment I've got a shield, so that's kind of. I've got 30 seconds of being involved. Are, are all of the levels kind of taking place in this uh, nebulous uh, space realm? It's, um, yeah, they're all set in space, but they just have loads of different things. Basically, this one's just sort of basic arena level. So you can, um, you, you know, it's just two sides to jump around, but we have like cassette tapes, we have like robots that you can play around the place. Nice. Okay, so it's not always oh, just like annoying. super oh, abstract really? here. Oh, he, he iced you before you'd blow up. Yeah. That's frustrating. So, um, so uh, does the uh, 
the, the relative level of the, the enemies that you take out, will that affect how much uh, of a score you get off of killing yeah, them? Yeah, well, um, when you kill people, you also earn experience points. Okay. So, which I'm trying to do now, so I can, and then you can upgrade your robot in the middle of the game. So once you blow yourself up, it allows you to sort of um, upgrade your guy, get like more runs, get all these sort of things, uh, more runs, faster runs, and um, more jumps and things like that. So more runs is yeah, not more a good runs thing, <laughs> Robin. I just want to be clear here. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. that, that, that sounds like baseball. That point. Make sure we're on the same page. So yeah, I blow myself up, and then this Boom. point you can upgrade robots. So you've got these these banks of upgrades here. You've got the running, you've got the jumping, and the recovery. That's the sort of movement bank. Okay. And then you've got the defensive one, which gives you a shield or a warning if you're being locked onto, or the shield recharge. And then you've got the attacking one down below, and that's just uh, how quickly you blow up, how fast you charge, and how far you go. How now, is this, is this persistent, or does this reset at the end of each round? It resets at the end of each round. Okay. Um, you should really be able to get all of this within about... With about 10 minutes or something okay. of gameplay. So really, we like the fact that uh, if you play the game for about 15 minutes, everyone's rushing around, everyone's zooming all over the shop. So I'd get that double jump. Um, these ones down here, these are the mega perks. Uh -huh. um, if you upgrade the entire bank, you get to buy those. Um, the mega, that one, which I'm pointing at, at the moment, that one allows you to bum stomp down to the ground and disrupt everyone's controls. Uh, this one here turns your um, detonation into a gravity pulling thing, so you just suck everyone into it. Nice. And this one gives you uh, um, uh, gives you a shield that can't, which can survive break uh, meltdowns. So how long is the uh, the average game of a point side? About 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Um, oh. See. Oh. So oh. yeah, playing against the AI, as you see here, they can't, they do play like sort of pretty standard AI. They'll just like rape you for no reason, <laughs> and it's just. Um, this is why we're kind of. Well, look at the way you're dressed. I mean, <laughs> you were asking for it. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> what did I tell you? Um, I believe I was asked to be out here, so <laughs> reap what you sow. <laughs> Remember that for the future. <laughs> So do you, uh, so we're looking at just kind of standard deathmatch here. Do you guys have any sort of the traditional multiplayer variants? like Yeah, we've, had, we've, stuff, got, um, we've got Capture the Flag in it. We have uh, Team Deathmatch. We have um, a thing called, light, uh, a gameplay mode called Lighten Up, which is where a part of the map lights up and you've got to get enough points and then blow yourself up on it. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like tag, really. Um, and then we also have a gameplay mode called uh, Ninja Ninja Botzilla, which is where lots of little mini ninjas have to team up against one giant robot. Um, and I'm missing everyone right now. So you're waiting for your little reticle to turn red before you dash. Yeah, exactly. Them. So it is like it is like a flight sim like that. So you kind of you do rely upon the UI yeah. to get it. So really, it's um, it doesn't always mean you're going to hit it. They can like they can dodge out the way and they can do all these other things. So it, depending on the skill of the opponent. Also, if they've got like an upgrade that shows you know they're being targeted, you're much more likely to miss because they'll get out of the way. So, so it's uh. Just quit out of chase on other levels. Um, so yeah, the levels wise, we've got um, everything from, well, this one's just a giant <laughs> robot floating in space. I really want to know what Unreal Tournament is about. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> two cassette tapes. <laughs> I'll show you that. Ooh. The, uh, yeah, the relative gravity of various objects is, uh, is a bit of a trip. Yeah, is anybody with uh, motion sickness issues on your team? Or? Not so far. <laughs> uh, we spent a lot of time taking a lot of drama. Mean while you're making this game. <laughs> we spent a lot of time getting the um, the camera right. So if it's too, we put a bit of give in it. So if it's too strict, then people get um, yeah, they get they get pretty sick. Rock on, take him. Yeah. Here we go. Just let him not talk. He plays a lot better. I <laughs> know. Maybe we should just. <laughs> what did you have for lunch today? I didn't. Oh no. I had a, a late uh, breakfast though, so. So I'm good. How about you? I uh, saw so you were carrying down some. That's some basil chicken. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. That was good. Brown rice. Nice. It's tasty. Oh, you can tell there's all sorts of action over here just because there's all of these uh, arcs flying all over the place. Uh, are the, uh, uh, the I noticed the stars are, are power ups. Are they distinct types of power ups or is it? Um, yeah, we've got five different power ups. Okay. They are the, um, there's. It doesn't always give you a power up. Um, it's hey, um, you've got a chart. You've got a random chance of picking one up. We okay. have um, 
which is five four. We have uh, a shield power up. We have a flaming sword power up, which allows you to um, attack people without having to charge up. So it allows you to do the whole sort of Dragon Ball Z thing about like darting around the place and just taking out five people at a time. Nice. We have the mini, um, the stealth one, which turns your lights off and allows you to like become tiny and run up and sneak up on people. And then we have the chain detonation one, which when you blow up, then that person blows up, so you can actually just like take over the entire map with explosions. So I kill a load of people then, so I'll jump and I'll run a bit quicker as well. Okay, so you have to max out all three in a category to get the mega, not, yeah, not just exactly. one of them. So, okay. um, I, so I've got the um, so yeah, I've got the super jump here, so I can literally oh just. No. That is in fact quite a jump. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. Now, can you hit that other giant robot off in the distance, or was that just for decoration? Uh, I think, you, yeah, you can. You can pretty much get anywhere you like. Okay. Um, so there's, there's no risk of, of falling off the world. No, we don't have like sit, um, like things of spikes anywhere, okay. so you can fall off. Um, no lava pits or anything like that. Just when you when you when you see someone jumping around on an object in the dark void of space like this, mm. so used to falling off an edge and then <laughs> going into the pit of forever. Yeah, the, you, the void doesn't get you in this. You Off just come gosh. straight back around. <laughs> Your nightmares are... Uh, <laughs> I, I have uh, significant issues with heights, so the, this kind of <laughs> stuff will uh, get me bad. So you guys are out next week with this game, is that right? Yeah, we are. Um, oh, at no. the moment, we're just sort of cramming in the Steam achievements. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're doing Steam, are you on any other distribution uh, platforms? I think we're or? pretty much on most of them, to be perfectly okay. honest. We're on, like, Direct to Drive, we're on oh, cool. GameTap, we're on Metably, cool. we're on Impulse. Um, Same pricing across all... Yeah, $9.99 for everyone. Okay, cool. The way we see it is that, um, you know, it's, it's a really decent price for what it is. Um, we just, you know, it's a multiplayer game though, so we want people to be playing from day one. Right. It ships a dedicated server software as well, and we hope in a couple of months we should be able to get people to import their own maps and do all that sort of thing. Because we're really looking forward to having like user-created content. So you guys have achieved what Infinity Ward could not. <laughs> what you say. Oh, wow. No, that's calling them out. <laughs> no prisoners, Brad. I thought I was the bad one here. Are you guys uh, gonna, is there going to be a Linux version of your, of your dedicated server? No, nah, this, <laughs> this is written in XNA, okay, so, getting, okay, anything, okay, so. Um, getting this written, um, getting anything Linux or Mac in it isn't yeah, it's pretty not, hard. Not so easy, huh? Yeah, but um, with the, um, the PS3 version, we're actually putting it into a different game engine. So oh, really? okay. we're hoping to have a, um, uh, a, new P uh, like a big PC upgrade within a year, and we're going to give that to people like super cheap. Oh, very cool. And uh, we're hoping to have a Mac version as well. Awesome. Um, What's the uh, what's the time frame for the PSN version? One year. Okay. <laughs> um, we're giving ourselves a really decent amount of time to do it because <laughs> we're only a small team. You don't want to overcommit yourself. <laughs> so, uh, if you guys are putting this out on Steam now on Windows, and you're talking about a Mac version. Have yep. you had any communications with Valve about the the Steam on Mac stuff? No. Have they kind of talked to you about any of that yet? I haven't spoken about it. Okay. I'm okay. really excited about it though. I don't. I don't even know when that's out. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think the client is out April. I believe. Sure. Yeah, I'm. I'm a Mac user at home, so. Oh yeah. That, so yeah, we're you know, we're 100% Mac office here. Yeah, exactly. So, so the idea of I'm not. Be able except, to for, except for this machine. Except here. for. <laughs> except yeah, exactly. for the requisite gaming PC. Yes. Is it? It looks like it's running off a Mac though. Anyway. Yeah, Mac we even have an Apple monitor on there. So. <laughs> so how many players? What's the what's the the max limit on any of these levels? Uh, Twenty. Oh, man. But honestly, okay. it also depends upon the, um, you know, if you get some guy who's got like an absolute piece of crap sort of game connection, um, internet connection, it's not going to play as well. That's kind of one of the reasons why we um, we uh, decided to have uh, dedicated server software. Okay. Because originally we were just going to do it peer to peer. Yeah. Um, and we found we kind of topped out about 10 on a standard mm. person's DSL connection, but really we um, we wanted more. So, and we've only capped at 20 just because the map size and sure. um, we couldn't find that many people to test it. We just we would love to test it with 50, but you know we'll see how after launch. Uh, does that does that limitation uh, also exist for these uh, versus AI maps or? Um, the AI, own, we're only going to be including AI in the basic deathmatch mode, okay. just simply because it is just practice. It's, right. um, it, the game doesn't really play like this in the sense when you're playing against real people, it is just 20 times more fun. The AI is just kind of, they just jump around and sort of kill you randomly and stuff like that. So it's not half as fun as playing like with real people. Not, the same, not the same strategy. Yeah, because you actually see like people thinking, and you know when you're trying to take someone out, because the AI it doesn't, you know, it's not you're not trying to counterthink each other the whole time, and that's kind of kind of takes a lot of the joy out of it. But it's good to get good enough to play against people. That's kind of why we included it. Originally, we weren't. 
If you can get good enough to beat the AI, then you're generally okay. You'll be fine on the servers. We have. For now. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Get back to us in a month. <laughs> see how good people have gotten. I'll get to it. There it is. Boom. No, I like the uh, miss command explosions. Yeah, we did that by accident. <laughs> 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 that effect came about by some sort of programming cock up, and they're like, "Oh, that looks really nice." <laughs> <laughs> Keep. <laughs> Very cool. So yeah, this is um. I, c I really can't think when I'm playing this game. It kind of <laughs> takes up all my brain power. Um, do you guys have any questions about it? I think, I think I've, I've, I've asked what I can. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Uh, How did you guys find working with the XMA stuff? Did it feel like that, that ease development? I mean, this is your first project and all. Um, no, it's, um, XNA is fantastic for prototyping stuff. Uh -huh. um, but if you actually want to get a full released thing out, it's just, well, it's just like, it's little things like dependencies and stuff like that and getting a decent installer. Okay. Because a lot of the time, you, you know, if you want to install .NET, it turns around and goes, oh, you need an internet connection. Which is fine, because this is a multiplayer game. Um, but it's been pretty difficult to get everything up. There's been a hell of a lot of stuff we've just had to rewrite. Um, we had to, we've had to redo our networking, I think, about two or three times now, just to make it fair and balanced. So we, in the end, we just copied how Counter-Strike does it, because we figured, well, that works. People don't yeah. complain about it too much. People have been banging um, on that one for a while now. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, just there's so many things that we kind of thought XNA would just do just fine, but we've just had to go away and redo it ourselves. Um, and that's cool. also yeah, like like importing custom maps. Sure. We're gonna, that's going to take a hell of a long time because it's XNA. Cool. Which is a bit shit really. Well, you're almost there though. You're yeah, a few <laughs> days just finally days away now. So, so yeah. let's let's take it from the top here. Uh, modes of play. Modes of play. There's five modes of play. There's um, do you want me to list them? Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, just, sure. let's just run down um, real quick just to just sum it up here. Pop quiz. Cool, pop quiz. Yeah, there's deathmatch. Uh -huh. There's lighten up, which is the um, time-based turf war um, gameplay mode where you've okay. got to explode in bits. There's capture the flag, and there's team deathmatch, and then there's ninja ninja botzilla. Nice. So, yeah. Um, uh, so, five ones play, uh, how many maps? Um, there's 13 maps in okay. total. Um, maybe 14. We just found another one which we might put in the last minute. <laughs> found <laughs> one? Well, well, we've actually got like tons <laughs> sitting on our servers, okay. but we just, um, those are the ones that make the final cut. Sure. Um, so it's not like you guys went out to the pub one night and then woke up the next morning and like there was a map. Sweet. The map fairies <laughs> come along. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> the thing is, it's because we can patch it whenever we like. People, you know, we're going to be adding to it the whole time. So people just wake up one day and there'll be an extra couple of maps. And um, that's kind of just the way we like to work, really. Um, nice. Well, that's the, we see this is kind of, we decide to launch on version one, and it's going to keep being updated, updated, updated. You know, the way we see it is like we want this game to sort of want it to grow, we want the community to build behind it, and that's why we're keeping the price point low. So, sh so shipping with, with 13, maybe 14 maps, but yeah. then more coming in the future. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, you know, we're hoping that people get to make their own ones as well, because okay. I'd love to see what people on the internet could do with it. Uh, and 9.99. Yeah. On Steam. On Steam. Yeah. A variety of other whatever your uh, loads your, of magic and your, your <laughs> downloading uh, service of choice is, and then coming in the future to uh, to other platforms. Mm. PlayStation Three. Yeah. Very cool. Very Excellent. cool. Well, Robin, thanks a lot for no stopping worries. by. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah. Cool.